Hello, I'm Chef Johnny. Today I'm going to show you how to break down a venison leg quarter. Not a real tough thing to do. One thing you want to make sure you do is you've got your good sharpening steel. So you can keep your knife sharp the whole time and uh, you use uh, your hunting knife if that's what you got. Just about anything, a little bony knife, utility knife. I use this utility knife a lot. There's a little dirt on that. I'm going to clean that up right there. But you really don't have to. This, uh, this comes apart really well. This is the front of the leg, the outside of the leg. And this is the, the back of the leg. This is where you can get your rounds. This will be your sirloin tip up here. And uh, I'm going to use the, the shanks down here. I'll use that to grind up some of this up on the hip bone. I'm going to grind that up also. But it's, uh, it's a pretty easy process. And you're just going to clean up some of the silver skin, especially if you're going to cut some of this into steaks. You want to make sure that you get this silver skin off because it's not going to cook long enough to break it down. If you're going to do a braise like I'm going to do, on this, uh, on, on this uh, uh, sirloin tip, then you definitely want to, uh, to uh, that one it's braised, it's a long time. You can let it, you can leave some of that silver skin on it because it's gonna break down after braising for two or three hours. But uh, if you're gonna cut it into steaks, get that silver skin off there by all means. And this, this quarter, if you can tell, hope I got zoomed in enough. It, you can see the lines. Here's one muscle right here. Here's one right here, this is where that tip's at. Here's that top round over here. Your shanks are down there, but you can see where these muscles are separating. So if I take my knife in here and I just kind of cut right along that line where I can see the different muscles, it's kind of a little cap right here up on top. I'm going to get it off. But I'm just cutting through this fast as all I'm doing. Not actually cutting through meat yet. Taking this off of there, real easy. Let's take this off. This little flat meat right here, that's all going to be ground up for a burger or sausage. Make a little bit of both out of this guy. Shot him the other day. I've had him packed on ice for a couple of days. And he's going to get cut up into ground up. A lot of him will get ground up for sausage and hamburger. I'll keep his back straps and uh, I'm going to keep these uh, sirloin tips up here for that. But anyways, there's our first cut. And if we look and we want to take this off, you can really kind of, you can find, there's my finger right there going up between these muscles. But come in here, just cut right along the tip. Use your knife when you have to and you, you'd be surprised how you can separate without even, without even cutting. But I'm trying to do this where y'all can see and me not cut myself. That's the fun part. But uh, it's just separating out. Just kind of keep running my hand up in there. Go up to the top of here. All right. It's coming apart real well. Go up here along the hip bone. I'm just going to skirt right along that bone. Separate all this meat out. You'll look right here, you can kind of see I'm just taking that out. And it's coming out real well. Always want to keep trimming it. Keep coming. Right there. And just cut down in between the muscles. You can, there's no doubt once you start doing this, you can. You can see where these muscles are. I've been doing this for a while. I can't tell you how old I was when I helped my daddy cut up my first deer. I shot my first deer when I was, I don't know, seven, eight, nine years old, I guess. Something like that. But anyways, we're just working on getting this top sirloin off of here. Or excuse me, top round off of here. And you're going to get out here in a second. You're going to see the head of your, your femur where it goes up in to make a ball socket. We're just going to get that off of there. There you go. One of our rounds is off. Now, between the top round and the bottom round, there's this little strip right here. And this is a nice little piece of meat. Right here. 
See if I can get this off of here and show it to you. But this makes nice, nice sticks. Very tender, kind of hidden away in here between the rounds. But there it is right there. And that is nice. I'll sit this off to the side for a second. And we'll see if I can show you how we do this. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my knife and I'm going to cut this silver skin off. Because I'm going to use this to make some nice little medallions out of. That we'll wrap in bacon. If you don't want to do that, you can, you can cook this thing whole if you wanted to. But uh, it's a nice little tender strip. Try not to cut up the, down into deep into the meat. Get that silver skin off without taking any more of this leather off than you have to. But uh, now if we'll kind of get rid of the tip, I'll use that for grind. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut halfway through, maybe three quarters of an inch, you know what I'm saying, across. Don't cut all the way through, but I can cut down now. Now if I want to, I can flare this out and make a nice little steak out of it. Okay? So just cut a little over halfway. And if you take this out of both of your hams, you get some really nice little steaks here that you could do with a nice little mushroom wine sauce or something. And it would work up just fantastic for a nice little meal. And it's not a lot, not a whole lot of meat here. I'm gonna get three little steaks out of it. But if you were doing this for you and your wife, you and your spouse, um, you'd find out that that, you know, the two of them take one out of each ham, and y'all get a very nice meal out of it. And this other part, I'll just slice it up, and I could use that for a kebab or something, but I'm just going to use it to go in my grind with my hamburger meat. But I have these nice little steaks now, so they're ready to go, and I'll set those to the side and vacuum seal those in a minute, and I'll get back onto my my ham. Now, we can look at the other part of this round. We can come up into here where it comes up into the hip. Just skirt down by the bone. So we get it. And don't saw on the bone, it's just gonna dull your knife. It's right there. We've got it. You can see that little line running there. So just cut through the fascia. And you can tell that that round and that sirloin right there are just right next to each other, but there's definitely fascia that keeps them apart. So there we go down. Okay. So it's coming out, and I'm just gonna take it out right there. You could turn that into a roast. You could pull the silver skin off, and you could. Uh, uh, play it into steaks if you wanted to. You can do a lot of different things with it. I usually just use this for grind because we use a whole lot of hamburger meat. So uh, I'll clean it up a little bit, not a whole lot, but I'll uh, I'll take that and we'll we'll just chunk it up, throw it in the grinder, and for our hamburger meat. But here's the piece I like to get off right here. I'm going to take this top cap off right here. And this again, this top part is just going to go in with my grind, hamburger and sausage. And I'm going to start taking this off. And to do that, I just come right here by the bone. Some people will just cut in and slice it off. You lose a little bit of this when you do it. But uh, hey, whatever you like to do, that'll work. I'm just going to go between these muscles here. You can kind of see the top end of this piece right there. And I'm just trimming right along this finger. Taking it out carefully. Over. A little bit slippery. But on this side, all I'm going to do is work along that finger. So 
around. We're going to get a look at what I'm doing. And I'm just taking it off the bone. That's all I'm doing. And I'm all the way through right there, so I'm just going to clip that bottom part off. I'm going to cut this top part off for you. Let's see if we can go here where you see. Now, I want you all to see this. This is what you want to braise. Go in there and tie it up with a butcher twine and to get some of this loose fascia, this little, little cap of it, some thin meat on top of it we're going to get off. And we're going to take out this little piece right here. If you'll see, I'm not even having to cut it. I'm just pulling the fascia off using my thumb. Now, this little piece, if you want to, you can just roll it back in. You could take this piece off if you wanted to. But you can roll it in with butcher's twine, tie this up, put it in there, and uh, brown everything, then put it into your braising liquid. Cook that off. It's going to make a great meal. This, where this tendon comes in, little tendon and bone there, I'm going to get rid of that. That doesn't need to be on there, but that is a tasty little piece of meat. And like I said, if you wanted to, you could come in here and trim off a little more right in here and get the rest of this other meat off and again you can kind of see how it just separates out but that is it I think that's called a sirloin tip but anyways that's that is great to braise make a nice wonderful meal and this for me that's just getting chopped up for for uh, Sausage or hamburger. Now I'm back to my my leg quarter again. So I have this top part, and all I do is just trim along the bone here. Try to stay as close to the bone as I can, and uh, just get all the meat off as possible to get off. I don't like to leave much on the bone, and I will take this and. Cut this up, and that'll be part of my grind. You can see the bone. Just run your run your knife along the bone, both sides of it. The top is kind of this is where its Achilles tendon was, I guess. What you call that? But if you're going to be real careful and separate that out, and wanted to braise this, you could. Again, I'm going to chop it up for, for burger and for sausage. That's, we eat more of that than we do anything else. Just continue trimming. And be careful. If you've got a good sharp knife and it slips, not, not worth cutting yourself. So. Be very, very careful doing this. There you go. Got that off. And there you go. That's how I break down my, my venison leg quarters, hind quarters on them. It's pretty easy to separate them in steaks. But I tell you what, if you don't want to separate them, you want, you want some nice barbecue, put that, whole, put that whole leg quarter on the pit and cook it up. They, they barbecue great. We barbecued them my whole life whole. But thanks for stopping by Texas Style Cuisine today. I appreciate it. Hope you learned a little bit. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, give me a thumbs up. Always appreciate that. Remember to subscribe to my channel. Hit that bell so you get notifications every time we get a new video up. Tell your friends and family about us. Share us on your social media, and we'll see you down the road on Texas Style Cuisine. Sitting by the wagon when the sun come up this morning. Bacon, eggs, and coffee, biscuits, and beans. Cookie strikes the bell, and he rings the world a warning. How them boys put food away beats all I've ever seen.